sharing the same platform with the Mercedes B-Class and stealing a bit of genetic material from Mercedes G-Class, the GLB is a bold, athletic and luxurious subcompact SUV that can carry seven people with ease and comfort. How does it do that? The Mercedes GLB stands out with its unmistakable proper SUV boxy design. It features a bold front end that goes from aggressive looking to muscular and glossy, depending on whether you go with the sport model or the AMG line. Of course, the GLB AMG looks even sportier and athletic. From the side, the GLB looks like a proper SUV, roof bars and all. As standard, it comes with 18-inch alloys, though upgrades to 19 or 20-inch are available. The 2024 model year also introduces two new fresh wheel designs a new restyled bumper, and some revised LED headlights and taillights. In the rear, you're welcomed by a flat, sporty, aggressive stance with a roof spoiler and even a diffuser on the AMG line. Overall, the GLB has got plenty of presence, bridging the gap between the iconic boxy brute G-Class and the GLS, Mercedes' largest SUV. And although it technically shares its foundations with the A-Class and B-Class models, the GLB has an upright, squared-off stance that makes it more like the G-Class itself. It's not just your typical Mercedes car-like crossover SUV, and we love that. In terms of size, the GLB is about 8.6 inches longer than the B-Class. It's also 1.5 inches wider and 4.7 inches taller than Mercedes' subcompact executive models. This means more legroom, headroom, and cargo space. Moreover, Mercedes managed to squeeze in an extra row of seats, so you get two small extra seats that flip up from the trunk floor. According to the German manufacturer, they can comfortably accommodate people of up to 5 foot 6 inches tall. The 2024 Mercedes GLB introduces three distinct powertrains, all three featuring a mild hybrid technology that improves fuel economy. The GLB 250 and the GLB 250 Formatic are both powered by a turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder engine, delivering 221 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, helped by a mild hybrid system. The engine is paired with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The GLB 250 comes standard with front-wheel drive, while the GLB 250 Formatic benefits from an all-wheel drive system. System. The introduction of a 48-volt hybrid system across the GLB range brings a belt-driven starter generator that adds an additional 13 horsepower under specific conditions, such as during acceleration or when coasting with the engine off. According to Mercedes, the system also smooths the start-stop function and regenerates energy during braking, which charges both the 48-volt and 12-volt batteries on the car, keeping your peak power output intact. Moreover, the AMG GLB 35 has a high-performance version of the same turbo 2-liter 4 Cylinder, churning out 302 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. On top of that, you get the same 48-volt mild hybrid system that adds a 13-horsepower boost. That should propel the AMG GLB 35 from 0 to 60 in less than 4.9 seconds. If there's one surefire place that the GLB outshines competitors, such as the Audi Q3, BMW X1, or the Volvo XC40, it's the infotainment system. The latest upgrades of the Mercedes m bucks infotainment system allows for better voice recognition as well as touchpad and gesture-controlled interactions. For example, you can control the audio system, navigation, seats, and more with hand motions. Onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, DAB, and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are all standard, but navigation is optional. The m bucks gets high marks for its visually enticing and futuristic UI interface, with lots of animations and customizations. You'll probably keep discovering new features and capabilities within this infotainment system for months after you buy the car. Moreover, Mercedes made sure the GLB retained a certain sense of physical luxury, adding haptic responses to screen inputs. You get a configurable digital gauge display for the driver and a large widescreen infotainment display, both unified behind what seems like a single pane of glass. It looks sleek and modern. Modern. The driver's instrument cluster can be personalized with a range of options, from navigation to audio or trip information. And let's not forget that Mercedes were one of the very first manufacturers to go with this design. Even if you don't have a good opinion about voice assistance in cars, you should give Mercedes Voice Assistant a chance. It's received some significant improvements, making it capable of understanding context and even having a dialogue. For example, you can ask it about a certain building in your area, and it'll understand where you're situated and answer your question. You could also ask random general knowledge questions, or demand it provides examples of animal noises. It might throw a glitch or two here or there, but it's getting closer to Apple's Siri or Google Assistant with each passing year and update. 
The AMG line premium trim and above features an augmented reality navigation view, which uses real-time visuals from the car's forward-facing camera and adds dynamic navigation cues as overlays. So as you are prone to turn, the live camera feed will pop up in your digital gauge cluster with directional graphics, such as arrows telling you where to go so you won't miss a turn or misjudge the GPS's map instructions. Moreover, you won't have to take your eyes off the road. Cadillac has a similar AR navigation system, only that Mercedes takes it one step further and applies the AR to the gigantic heads-up display as well. Both distances and arrows will be projected onto the road right in front of your eyes at all times, communicating where the turn is. That makes the Mercedes AR navigation system one of the most high-tech navigation systems on the market right now, and we recommend that you add this feature on your GLB. It'll help especially on tight city streets with confusing turns near each other. The Mercedes GLB will come standard with forward collision mitigation technology, which warns you of any impending collisions and can even apply the brakes in certain situations. It also features driver attention warning, which sends an alert if the sensors in the car determine that you're getting tired. Moreover, you get blind spot warning and parking assist as standard. Touch sensitive steering wheel buttons, four USB-C ports, and a wireless charging pad are also part of the standard technology and driver assist package. But that is only scratching the surface of what Mercedes can offer. The German manufacturer offers several optional packages, such as the driver assistance package, which adds speed limit assistance, adaptive cruise control, lane departure mitigation, lane keeping assist, blind spot intervention, and even evasive steering assistance. The Mercedes GLB might have a starting price of only about $46,000, but that doesn't mean that you can't get some higher-end options on it. Mercedes offers a lot of customization options, such as adjustable dampers, an upgraded Burmester audio system, or a surround view camera system that gives you a top-down view of the GLB and its surroundings. Apart from the powerful engine, the AMG GLB 35 will come as standard with a dual-clutch automatic transmission, 19-inch AMG design wheels, and a multifunctional leather steering wheel with aluminum aluminum shift panels. For the real performance seekers, Mercedes offers a special AMG Night Package, which includes some super cool sports seats, a special AMG body trim, black mirror housings, a unique glossy and aggressive grille, unique upholstery, and AMG stainless steel panels, and a cool name, AMG Night Package. But enough of performance and technology, let's also talk practicality and functionality, because the GLB excels at that too. With its squared off edges, a 111-inch wheelbase, and an optional third row, aggressive front end or rear diffuser, the GLB is in that sweet spot of luxury and functionality we all search for in an SUV. Thanks to its boxy exterior shape, you get very good usable passenger space, large doors that extend all the way over the sills so they won't get money, so you won't get your pants dirty when getting in and out of the car. In the back, you get a dedicated space for storing the car's low cover, which is very handy because in case you need the seven seats, you're going to have to remove that low cover and put it somewhere. The ride is smooth and comfortable. Unlike the BMW X1, the GLB doesn't sacrifice comfort in the name of sportiness. That's assuming you don't choose the AMG version. The cabin is very well built, roomy, quiet, even on the highway or on rough road surfaces. The climate control system works very well both on hot and cold days, keeping you cozy at your desired temperature. All the controls are easy to find and logically placed. The tall windows provide very good outward visibility. Both the rear second and third row of seats feature Isofix attachment points, so technically you can install four children's seats inside. The GLB comes standard with power adjustable and heated front seats with memory settings, synthetic leather upholstery, and 64 color ambient lighting that will help set the perfect mood for long drives. The GLB offers reclining rear seats as standard, which can be really useful, especially if your children like to snooze during long journeys. There's more than enough space in the rear, and if the front seats are raised up, the passengers can even stretch their legs by putting their feet underneath the front seats. Moreover, the rear windows are large and low, so children traveling in the back will get a good view out of the car if they care to lift their heads from their phones. The car boasts a generously sized glove box, a deep center console bin with two USB charging points. The cover includes two separate panels. One panel can be closed independently, allowing it to serve as an armrest while still providing easy access to the storage compartment. Further forward towards the dashboard, you'll find some pretty big dual cup holders that can fit both small and large bottles. Next to these, there's space for your mobile phone, wallet, or loose change, as well as an additional USB port. The door bins are big both in the front and the rear and can hold large bottles with ease. 
When you pop the trunk with the third row seats up, you won't find a ton of space, but it's enough to toss in a few bags for a weekend trip. Drop those seats down and you get a solid 62 cubic feet of storage space. That's only about 10% less than you'd get in a much bigger GLC. Mercedes have thought of everything, and the cargo space includes useful cargo nets and straps for storage, a 12-volt socket and hooks for shopping bags.